you are from tier 1 or tier 2 college then it's a good news because core companies like qualcomm intel texas instrument these companies visit to your campus and you can directly prepare for the placements guys these companies value your college reputation and focus on your technical and project skills so for path 1 you are eligible to directly prepare for the placements so prepare core electronic subjects like digital electronics basics of analog electronics digital ic design then verilog sta uh, programming language like c and the basics of data structures tailor your resume properly as per the job description and follow the placement specific preparation strategies well tier 3 tier 4 colleges so don't worry guys even if these core companies are not visiting to your college you still have other options start preparing for gate examination as early as possible preferably from your btech second year itself secure good rank in gate examination and get into the top iits or nits and do your mtech from there these colleges open the door for the top vlsi companies if mtech is not an option due to the financial reasons then consider the training programs to gain the hands on experience in industry related tools for the back end roles however for front end roles you can practice with the open source tools like eda playground to upskill yourself what if you are not willing to do mtech then what's the alternative In that condition you will likely to start career in service based companies who are working with VLSI clients. And guys this is not a bad thing at all because most of the engineers start their career with service based companies, gain experience and later they switch to the product based companies like Intel, Nvidia or AMD. So the key is upskill yourself continuously. Focus on the projects that align with the product based companies and build a strong foundation in that.